I would not go into the details what was the condition in a state like Bihar. But the first thing, how we converted or we are trying to convert, we can't claim that now Bihar is not a fragile or failed state or it has become an effective state, but we are on the path of making Bihar from a failed state to an effective state. And I think the first thing which is required is the, is the political stability. Within the last 40 years, in Bihar, no chief minister completed more than two years in office. Even if there was a, a single party rule, then also every two years or one year, the premier or the chief minister were changed. So the first <coughs> thing required and what we achieved is the political stability. Number two, what uh, he was mentioning just now, is a, vis is a visionary, credible leadership. Because you don't have a credible leadership with a wide vision, you can't transform a failed state into an effective state. And under the leadership of Mr. Nitish Kumar, who was earlier a central minister in the federal government, and when he became the chief minister, because of his vision, because of his impeccable, transparent, uh, honest leadership and a strong political will. So the political stability, the kind of political leadership, the kind of vision that is required first to convert a, a failing, failed state into an effective state. And the next two, Bihar had a government, but there was no governance. So there is a difference between government and governance in all the African and all the poor states or countries. Governments are there, but there is no governance. So the first, the, the many of the steps that we tried to put in place was put the governance on rail, put the governance, the system at place. And so the biggest challenge for Bihar was how to control law and order. He was talking about the four pillars of prosperity. And the last pillar was security. But for a failed state like Bihar, law and order was the biggest challenge. Because kidnapping had become an industry in Bihar. Because after, after 7 o'clock in the evening, people would not venture out of their houses because of fear of crime, because of fear of law and order situation. So the biggest challenge was how to control this law and order. And I'm not going into the details, but we were able to achieve. Now there is no fear psychosis. Now there is no fear. Incidents may take place, but immediately the criminals are being arrested. They're being tried. They're being convicted. So now people, is, people are having faith in the legal system, in the law and order. So this was the biggest challenge and because of which we were able to achieve to <coughs> some extent from converting Bihar from a failed state to an effective state. And the next step was how to improve the public finance. He was just mentioning about the public expenditure. Because the last 30 years, the budget was not passed before 31st of March. Every year the budget was passed in two installments. We, we made a decision that the budget will be passed before 31st of March. Then we enacted a FRBM Act, Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act. So how much a loan a state will take? So there was a binding that only 3% of, of GDP will be taken as a loan, as a borrowing. Then the decentralization of financial and economic power. Earlier, even if you want to spend 1 lakh of rupees, you would have to go to the cabinet. So there was an economic and financial power or administrative power was decentralized. So for each and everything, every decision should not be come to the cabinet for taking a decision. Then the plan expenditure. For 20 years, the plan size could not, the, they could not spend the money. And I would, I would like to tell you that in the last six years, our plan size increased six times. When we started in the year 2006, it was only 
4,000 crore and now it is 24,000 crore. So the plan expenditure of the plan size has increased six times in the last six years. Earlier it was, it was stagnating for the last 20 years. Then cheaper loans. From where the state can get cheaper loans. So we went for the World Bank, we went for the Asian Development Bank, for the DFID and other, uh, uh, other loans from where the state can get a cheaper loan. In the same way, how to take more and more money from the central government? Because for taking money from the federal government, you require, uh, you, you, you require a certain amount of money as a state, as a state share. If you want to take uh, one million rupees from the federal government, the first you will have to, you, you should have 10% or 20% of the money, then only you can take the rest of the amount. So the earlier governments, they could not take money from the central government. So in India, that is only the centrally sponsored schemes. So now, they, now we are providing money at the state share and taking more and more money for the central government to spend. And the so most important thing was effective monitoring and review. Earlier there was no monitoring. What is happening? There was no review, there was no monitoring. So for effective state, you require effective monitoring and effective review of the whole expenditure or uh, of, of the entire system. And the second important point was tax reforms. There, on this liquor, the, we used to get about 250 crore, I am not converting into the pound in, in the million or billion. For 20 years, there was no tax reform.